for the next 24 hours. I want you to give yourself a mental break. What do I mean by that? What I mean by that is I want you to give yourself a 24-hour vacation from all of the negative thought loops, all of the self-deprecation about how you're not good enough, how you don't look attractive enough, how you're too overweight, how you need to fix all these things in your life. Give yourself a mental break. Okay, all of these toxic memories that you have, the time some dude amogged you in the street, called you a name, trolled you, made you feel bad about yourself, went home and cried. I want you to stop all that for the next 24 hours and I want you to pat yourself on the back for what you have accomplished in life, whether it be big or small. Right? Just the little things, okay? Just the little things you were able to accomplish. Maybe it's you just passing up on that Gordo burrito that you wanted to eat and you didn't, right? Maybe it's you holding the door open for some old lady who needed to walk by, right? Maybe it's you having some positive memories growing up of your family, your brothers, your sisters, friends, your dogs that might not be here anymore. I want you to refocus on those positive thoughts for the next 24 hours and just completely let go of all of these negative thoughts that are just replaying in your brain over and over and over every single day that have essentially become mental demons in your life and have turned you into your own worst enemy, right? Because oftentimes, as humans, we are flawed creatures. We are our own worst enemy. It's not the cunts of the world out there who are constantly trying to, you know, judge us, make fun of us behind our backs, and, uh, you know, label us, you know, Really, at the end of the day, nobody can make you feel anything but you, right? This is why one of my biggest lessons on my channel is always being icy and non-reactive, right? I always teach you guys to be non-reactive. And at the end of the day, whatever, what else have I taught you? One of my big lessons, everyone reacts to the alpha male. So if everybody's watching you, everyone's paying attention to you, everyone's stopping what they're doing, stopping their movie, their own precious lives to pay attention to you, Probably because you're the alpha male, right? You're 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 that high. I mean, their their lives suck that much to where you are the source of entertainment for them because their lives are that boring. I mean, really, that's how I look at it. You know, whenever somebody like has tried to troll me in the past, online or offline, done exposed videos or anything, I laugh my ass off. I laugh my ass off. Some of them like do make me laugh actually, um, but I laugh my ass off because I'm like. Am I really living rent free in your head, man? You know, <laughs> I mean, and really at the end of the day, everyone reacts to the alpha male, right? But that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is for you to stop thinking all of these self-deprecating thoughts that are just destroying you mentally and just giving you this insane amount of social anxiety where Sometimes you feel like you hate yourself. Okay, I want you to give, you know, yourself a break from that. Okay, I'm not going to give you some, like, pill to take or, you know, put you on some medications or anything like that from Big Pharma. No, we're going to do this holistically. We're going to do this naturally. And I'm giving you permission to give yourself just a 24-hour, a one-day break from all of these, uh, this insane lifetime of bad memories you've had. Starting from childhood to your first bad memory, all the way until adulthood, whatever you age you are now, right? Whether it was like you were bullied in school, you know, somebody picked on you, stole your, stole your lunch money, or somebody you dated took advantage of you, cheated on you, left you for dead, or friends that you've had who've done you wrong. 
weren't loyal, backstabbed you. Right? All of these negative thoughts, if it's negative, I want you to get out. Right? Give yourself a break for one full day and don't think about these things. Now, just because you got rid of these things doesn't mean you'll, you'll suddenly think of nothing. No, you have to think about something. Right? It's kind of like what uh, I think it was uh, Prager said about atheists. Like, you know, if you are or you aren't, I mean, that's on you. But uh, he said, uh, it's not like atheists. I'm Catholic, by the way, so I do have faith. But uh, he said, uh, Prager said, uh, it's not like atheists suddenly believe in nothing. They'll believe in something else, right? They usually transfer that, that lack of faith in, say, God to something else, whether it be climate change, gender ideology, you know, political agenda, whatever it is, they'll transfer it on to something else, right? So just because you're giving yourself a mental break from all these negative thoughts doesn't mean that you could just think of nothing because your mind is just naturally going to want to think of something. The, the, the trick is I don't want you to revert back to thinking of negative thoughts, at least for 24 hours. Right, and the reason why I'm starting, I'll, I'll tell you why in a little while, in a little bit, why I'm telling you only 24 hours, because you might be thinking, let me give myself a 30 day break. No, no, no. Yeah, you want to take baby steps with this, right? We'll get into that in a second. But for now, 24 hour break from all those negative thoughts, I want you to transfer that energy you have onto constantly looking back on these memories and replaying them like a broken record in your head about all these toxic things that were done to you by all these toxic people and instead start thinking about all of these positive things that have happened in your life positive people you've met in your life positive experiences you've had in your life times that were fun that you had in your life right maybe it might have been like a trip you took with your family when you were eight years old you know reflect on that for a bit or you know a dog you had when you were 13 Reflect on that for a bit. Not when, when the dog passed, but when the dog was still alive, right? Reflect on these positive, positive thoughts, right? Or that time you got that promotion or you finished, you know, you graduated high school when nobody thought you could or you, you know, you did something that nobody thought you could do, right? Or you didn't think you could do it, right? No matter how small or how big, I want you to focus on it. If it's positive, I want you to focus on that instead of the negative, pool of uh, dark experiences you've encountered and dark people you've encountered in life. Because we've all had that, by the way. I've had that, obviously. You know, we all have. We're humans. It's just part of the human experience. We're going to encounter dark forces. We're going to encounter dark people. We're going to encounter uh, people with terrible attitudes, people who want to do us wrong, people who want to do evil to us. I get that. We've all had that. And you know what? Sometimes we think back on that like, man, I can't believe there are people like this in the world that would do something like that. For 24 hours, I want to, you to give yourself a break from that. All that negativity and focus on the positivity, right? The positivity in your own life because that is something that you experience that is personal to you, right? Maybe it might be your first car. Remember when you got your first car, how that felt? You know, your first date. You know, if it was a positive experience, your first girlfriend, you know, before she cheated on you, obviously. But, you know, just remember these positive things for the next 24 hours and let go of all this negativity. Just give yourself permission to take a vacation from all of these negative thoughts. Okay, you're just giving yourself a little 24-hour vacation. Right? It's not a whole lot to ask for. 24 hours, it's not a whole lot to ask for. You know, it may be kind of tough because if you uh, watch television or social media or you're constantly watching the news, it's going to be hard to do. You're going to need to, you know what, instead of watching like CNN or MSNBC or Fox or whatever, where you're going to, you know, they're, they're purposely creating news stories to piss you off. Like, look at what the other side's doing. You know, give yourself a 24-hour break. You could catch up on that news tomorrow, right? Give yourself a 24 hour break. Instead of watching Tucker tonight or, you know, uh, Trevor Noah or whoever you watch, right? Instead of watching these people, watch a movie, right? I bet you haven't watched a movie in a long time, like that you really, really like. Maybe something that you saw as a child that you have fond memories of. Watch that movie, 
Like for me, it was uh, My Bodyguard. I remember seeing My Bodyguard when I was a kid. You remember that movie, My Bodyguard, 1980? With uh, Adam Baldwin, Chris Makepeace, Matt Dillon. Uh, it was about like this bully in school. Anyway, yeah, I, when I give myself 24 hour breaks, I'll revert to things like that. Last time I did, I did. I watched My Bodyguard. It's cool to watch. I hadn't seen it in so long, like years. But you know, that might be something you want to do. Or watch um, something that, you know, watch music videos of like your favorite band back in the day, right? It's just things that you would not see these days, you know, because we're living in such a digital social media age, right? Um, just give yourself a break from all of this, all of these dirty thoughts that are invading your mind constantly and poisoning your brain and putting you in these negative thought patterns. And instead, focus on all of these positive things that have happened to you, as rare as they are, right? Or as abundant as they are. Focus on that for the next 24 hours, okay? Don't focus on your looks and, oh, I got this pimple today, and oh my gosh, I'm not, I'm not six feet tall, you know, or oh, my hair is bobbing, you know, don't focus on these things. Just again, 24 hours, son, 24 hours, I'm giving you permission to take a break and pat yourself on the back that you're still alive, you're here, you might be at a point in your life where you might be, might be old enough like I am where you, you've lost people, you've lost friends, you've lost animals, you know, you've lost people that you cared about, All right? And um, just think of the happy memories that you had, right? Just 24 hours, give yourself a break for the next 24 hours. If you have any comments, please drop them below. If there's anything, questions, anything you'd like to add, anything you'd like to share, please drop them in the comments below. And for you guys who want to support my work and everything I'm doing here, and all this education and red pill enlightenment I'm teaching you, hardcore truths about life without filtering myself at the risk of being canceled, right? Because a lot of what I talk about is not politically correct, but it's true. It's based on reality. It's based on observational reality. Best way to support my work is by becoming a premium subscriber of my premium Alpha Male Secrets channel, which I'm hosting on a private platform away from YouTube, and I'm doing that to protect my content from YouTube in the event they try to shut us down one day. They won't be able to because we'll be on this private platform that I'm paying for, right? And right now it's only a buck for the entire first month of premium Alpha Male Secrets content from me. So take advantage of it. Right now it's only a buck. For the entire first 30 days so take advantage of it guys uh, best way to it's the best way to support my work and i would greatly appreciate it so click the link below it will take you over my website where you can get signed up right now it just takes two seconds so do that now and i'll see you in my next coaching video i'm out